Are you interested in making shorts, that is videos of less than a minute that you put up onto your YouTube channel or up onto TikTok as well? I'm gonna show you Camtasia because I think it's the ideal tool for making shorts. I began now to make quite a few shorts for my channel and though my videos aren't very successful, <laughs> I'm really pleased with the outcome of working with Camtasia for making shorts. I'm gonna focus on four of the features that I think make Camtasia a really good tool for making shorts videos. As always, if you like the video, please like it. Please share it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. You can use the menu system to jump to different parts of the video, as I'm gonna focus on four features in Camtasia, and also, all the links I mentioned will be in the description below as well. So this is the short I've produced, and I just wanna go through a few of the features I love. Number one, it's so easy to actually get the, exactly the right size that will completely fill a screen. So that's really useful when you're working with shorts. The other thing is look at this. I've got this nice effect to bring some text on. It's really important because a lot of people don't put on the audio that you've also got the text on the screen. Now that can either be transcripts and you can do that, but I actually like working with the call outs. And that's number two reason that I love working with Camtasia. Now the next thing is, if we just come along on this one, something else I really like is the fact that we can zoom in closer, we can bring in the video. If you wanna come in close on something, we have a zoom option. That means we can come in closer on things. And that's something else I like. And the last thing is look at the cursor. A really big, lovely, clear cursor. We've got lots of choices. So it's so easy for people to follow. You remember, you've only got a limited amount of screen size, so you really want to make your video as clear as possible. There are other great benefits for working with Camtasia as well, one of them being how easy it is to edit, because when you're making a one minute video, you need to cut things out and keep them to an absolute minimum. So for me, it's the perfect tool for making shorts. I'm just going to play this video just a couple of seconds so you can see. Decide and choose your channel. You'll see a number of lists on the left hand side. Just click on history. I really love all of the offers, all of the features that Camtasia can offer. Okay, so we've looked there at an example video that I've made, and what I'm gonna do now is actually technically show you how I did some of those things in Camtasia. And you'll see actually how easy Camtasia makes it to facilitate the sorts of things that you probably wanna do if you're gonna make a short. So the first thing I love about Camtasia is how easy it is to record at the correct screen size. And you can see here that the correct screen size has come up immediately on the screen. Remember, we're recording a short. Now a short needs to be, the size of it needs to be only 1080 pixels across by 1920 down. Now in fact, on normal computers, this isn't possible, but it's an easy trick. All you do is half the values. So record at 540 by 960, 540 by 960, and then when you go to edit, and I'll show you in a minute, you simply double the size. It's very, very easy. And it's the way that in fact, you would have to work with any editing tool. The problem isn't the editing tool, the problem is the size of our computer screen. Now the fun part starts once I've got all the recordings and I've got an example here where I've got already a series of recordings on the screen and I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So what I do is I would add them. One, two, three, four. Let's just do the first five just to make this easy and then drag those onto the timeline. And now you can see I can begin to edit these videos. Now notice what I said about the screen being only half size, okay? So what we need to do is first of all, come in to the project settings of the canvas. And we want the canvas to be the full size that we need when we upload the video. So we put the width at 1080 and the height at 1920. And all we need to do, because remember we recorded only half size, very easy, is to right click 
and click on scale to fit and we need to do that to each video and that way they will perfectly fit because remember I recorded at just half size now the fun really begins with all the kind of editing things that we can do okay so for example watch this straight away I can select the whole of the video all five parts come over to cursors drag cursor highlight drag it onto the screen and drop it so that we've now got a cursor highlight on all five of the videos and I can even control that and a good tip is to reduce the opacity a little bit because otherwise it's too dark and you can't see what's underneath it I reduce it to around 50% and you might want to make it just slightly bigger so you'll see now if we just play a bit of the video that we've got a cursor now on the screen let me just play a little bit of the video for you also pause your watch history so that no more videos will be added to your list. This is fantastic that you can do this, that you can just so simply add the cursor. If you wanna learn more about Camtasia, I've actually made a complete training course in working with Camtasia. It's a complete playlist of six videos that literally goes through everything. And I'm gonna put that on the screen now if you'd like to click on that. That will take you through to that video or collection of videos and it will really help you to learn Camtasia in detail. I'm gonna move on now and show you some more of the things that we can do when creating shorts. Now when you're making a YouTube short, you can't make really one video unless you're simply using your camera and talking in front of it. If you're gonna do, for example, things where you talk over different screens, you're gonna to need to break the video down into small pieces. So let's imagine that I wanted to give people a recommendation of how to use their watch later list. I would probably start with a really quick video just talking over this area of the screen here. So you can see I've moved the recorder over here. It's the perfect size. I would simply click on the record button and start to record to access your watch later list go to your channel and on the left hand side amongst other lists including your history list you will see your watch later list and then I would click and stop and that video would now be ready to be saved and brought into Camtasia and then of course I would probably do another video and when I do that other video let me just cancel that a minute I'm very likely to move the selection over now to this part and start to talk about here because now we've got the, the watch lit, lit the watch later list open on the screen so this is the way that I work and what I'm doing is I'm building up lots of small videos and then bringing them into Camtasia because often I need to record different parts of the screen. So sometimes I'm recording here, and then sometimes I'm recording here, etc. So when you look at the Camtasia video that I created, you'll see that there are about five or six different parts in the video. Just a super quick break from the video, just to say if you do like what you're seeing, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots more free videos. There's a special section on Camtasia. Uh, that you might find interesting and if you sign up to the newsletter at the moment as well as get updated about all my blog posts and all my latest videos and my webinars which are often free and the courses I run there's also a 14 part free video course in using technology in teaching and learning and also if you do want tutoring on working with Camtasia if your organization is looking for training or you're looking for training as an individual you can contact me from the website right let's get back to the video now another effect that you saw me using a lot and I'm just going to demo it by doing this I'm going to make this screen a little bit bigger so that we can actually see it and I can actually increase the size of it so we can see it more clearly and what I really need is to have here a kind of call out that's pointing at how to clear all the history so to do that what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to click and lock this um, this channel because I don't or this track because I don't want this moving around when I'm doing this okay then I'm going to come down to annotations and I'm going to drag an annotation onto the screen I'm going to click so that it just drag that over and points at the clear all history which is here 
And then I'm going to write in the in the here. I'm just going to simply click here to clear the history. Okay. So easy for me to add these uh, callouts onto the screen. Okay. Now it is possible, of course, if I wanted to, to even add. Um, annotations at the bottom, in other words, subtitles, but I much prefer to be very specific and point at certain parts of the screen and then give the instructions. Now, the other lovely thing is if we click on that object, so if we click on it here, we can click over to that object and change the properties. So we could change the color and say, well, actually, we want to use a different color, and of course, it will update. So this ability to add callouts onto the screen is just fantastic. There are many things that we haven't covered in this video about the way that Camtasia can help you create shorts. One obvious one is working with a webcam and you can use your webcam when recording using Camtasia. It does an excellent job of it. And if you want to know more about that, there's a video on the screen now that you can click on and learn more about Camtasia and the webcam. Now, one of the techniques that's obviously useful when working with um, short videos is the, the ability to, to kind of zoom in. And let me just sort of show you this in action. And I'll, I'll do it on this video here. So if we look, we've got a video here. In fact, this is the video that I'm editing now. And watch this. All I need to do is come over to the animation. And let's say at this point, I wanted to zoom in very closely on this part. What I can do is I just can bring this here and brings in the video. And I can obviously position it where I want it to go. Okay. And then play the video. So we could change the color. And, say and then I say at this point, I want to zoom back out again. And I just click on that. And immediately we've now got that effect where the video will come in at that point and then come back out again. Now I use this technique all the time. I've been using it all the time in this video and that's such a useful technique that we can work with in Camtasia. If you want to know more about Zoom and how it works, there's a video on the screen now that will go through in detail exactly how you can pan in, pan out, zoom in, zoom out of videos in Camtasia. Really hope that video was useful. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. As I've said, lots more free videos. You can scroll down loads of content on the opening page that might be useful. There's my blog post as well at the bottom. You can contact me uh, from this web page as well if you're perhaps interested in me doing some training in Camtasia with you. And as I said before, if you sign up to the newsletter, you'll get updated with all the latest blog posts, the webinars, the online courses, as well as the latest videos. And we do have that special offer at the moment of 14 part course on using technology in education. I'm going to leave some more videos about Camtasia on the screen now that you might find useful.